Tonight, a baby appearing scalded, scalded and burned leaves doctors to question his parents. It's similar to other reports made to our 11 Alive Investigates team. Rebecca Lindstrom's series, Help That Harms, reported how some medical conditions can leave parents looking like they're the ones to blame. So in this case, 11-month-old Jace was left fighting for his life after getting a rare staph infection doctors could not detect. So this is called scalded skin syndrome and could be deadly for kids under the age of six. 11 Alive's Angelina South Sudan is live outside Children's Eggleston Hospital where doctors were able to diagnose him, but Angelina, doctors thought he might have been abused, right? And as you can imagine, just tough for these parents to be blamed for something that they know they didn't do, all while trying to get help for their 11-month-old tonight. Baby Jace is home and healing, but it's been a journey to get here. It's traumatic. It's shocking. 50% of his body covered in burns. I have no words, honestly. 11-month-old Jace struggles to keep his eyes open in the hospital. What started off as a rash on his cheek and pain under his arms quickly turned into a nightmare. His skin's blistering. Every time I went to pick him up under his arms, he just went to scream. Jeremy DeBose and mom, Caitlin Tarr, both accused of burning their baby boy in possible abuse. That was the hardest part for me. It's just been a roller coaster ride. This is where the family's journey would start to try and get Jace some help, but doctors didn't know what to do and didn't know what was wrong. It took several hospitals for doctors to diagnose him. He has a staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome, so it's a type of staph infection. Jace's young age made him high risk and left him fighting for his life for a week. Having to be peeled from his neck all the way down to his toes. Fast forward to Sunday. Damn. His baby skin would heal enough to go home. Prayers work. A miracle Caitlin is happy she fought for. You know your kid better than anyone does. Now, when I spoke to Caitlin earlier today, she did tell me that something like this can cause you to question yourself as a parent. But if it's a case like this where you know that you've done nothing wrong, the best thing for you to do is to get your kid to the doctor ASAP and make sure that you advocate for them. When it comes to Jace, he is home once again, doing okay. Doctors say he should be fine. He's home just in time for his one-year-old birthday as well. We're live tonight in Atlanta. Angelina Salcido, 11 Alive News. Angelina, we are certainly happy to hear here, baby Jace is on the men there. 11 Alive Investigates reviewed nearly two dozen Georgia cases for its investigation, Help That Harms, to read more testimonials from families. Plus, what can be done for parents in similar situations? You can read Rebecca Lindstrom's reporting right now on 11alive.com investigate.